Hello, hello. So, hello. Uh, we're here to have a video uh, right now about uh, the um, about a certain problem that we can uh, that can occur during uh, rigging. So, potentially, the the symptoms of your uh, problems here is when you want to make an IK controller and then you're uh, cloning so the FK chain here uh, to the uh, to make another uh, chain and make it as if it was the IK chain and then when you apply the IK uh, uh, handle on top of uh, the cloned uh, the duplica uh, duplicated uh, chain of joint then that happens this is one of the symptoms of uh, your um, this should be one of the symptoms of the problem that I can potentially solve also another symptoms uh, that I can potentially uh, th that can pot potentially assure uh, well occur is that when you uh, you potentially uh, set preferred angle and when you set preferred angle and then you uh, do an IK uh, controller for now it looks good it it looks pretty good but then when you get closer the elbow of uh, the IK uh, chain is starting to rotate around a certain axis which is really weird so yeah I have uh, the potential uh, problem so well I have the potential solution for your, all of your problems so hear me out the problem uh, comes from the fact that before you uh, make tricks to uh, constrain your uh, your FK chain, you were forced to uh, you were forced to um, uh, freeze rotation and freeze also scale or well freeze almost everything. Not not uh, not uh, not translate, but you were uh, forced to freeze rotate so that. The the, uh, there's no bug with the matrix constraints and that is the thing that is generating this problem so hear me out you don't have to redo the whole chain you don't have to redo the whole chain you have another solution that is a bit uh, that is not that complex but that is pretty easy to, to make so basically what you need to do is in this case you have no rotation so you have uh, some rotation in the preferred angle so th th those numbers you don't really care about what you care about is the joint orient that could so the joint orient here that will help you uh, and will help also the IK handle to know in which direction it needs to bend so when you need to what you need to do is to copy everything uh, from uh, the uh, rotate here so manually copy everything and then uh, you're like seeing that of course all the the, the, the bones or all the, the 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 controls that I've replaced uh, have ch changed the the uh, the rotation of the joint so what you need to do in the so what you need to do after copying all the the rotation data is to reset everything in the the rotate uh, the rotate uh, of uh, the the bone uh, so here I do the same thing so you have to do everything um, not manually but, I mean you can code potentially if you want to if you have the motiva motivation you can make a code to potentially uh, transfer uh, all those data um, here and then the third joint here uh, that should be probably right here so really don't forget about uh, resetting every uh, rotate parameter inside of uh, the, uh, the the joint inside of the the joints within the IK handle because uh, it will offset uh, if you set the or don't orient without resetting the rotate parameters uh, it will change the orientation uh, the global orientation orientation of your joint so yeah from now on here uh, what I can do is to have this 
and then voila there you have it uh, there you have it your uh, so for on my screen it is resolved so I don't know about uh, about you on your screen I hope it had fixed all those stuff you can even you can even uh, so um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I need to create a cube, for example. I need to create a cube that I will for the uh, pivot, uh, for the, the um, pole vector. I need to select the cube and then that, and then you can even add a pole vector. And then here it must be good. Ha! But it's not. But it's not good. Ha ha! Uh, so what? Why is it not good? Well, it is because there is a certain difference in rotation between the two here. So if I use um, if I use a code that I coded myself for half an hour ago that enables me to verify. So uh, here I think I'm going to delete that one, or I'm just going to hide it. Uh, so the code that I've made here enables me to uh, check the correspondence between the matrices. And here, if I go in onto the cube that I created with my code. I can switch and here you can see that there's a certain difference uh, in the matrix of this joint and this joint. So how can you fix it? Well, I think you can fix it uh, by uh, resetting all the preferred angle. So here, preferred angle, all that here, uh, all reset. And here, suddenly, you won't have any problem. Uh, so on my screen, I I don't have problems for now. I don't have any problem. And uh, here, if I go over there, uh, and I can like so pull the pole vector is still working as you can see. Uh, and here, also the uh, pole vector in this case also is working, which is great. Uh, and then, so I'm going to hide it and then uh, select the true joint here, uh, select that those ones. And then if I go onto the switch, matrix switch, you can see that the cube is not moving. So that means that every single matrices uh, that are uh, the, uh, the, the two matrices of the two different chains, so the IK chain and the FK chain are both in the same rotation, which is what we expect from an IK FK switch. So at the end, uh, when you will make the SK uh, chain, you won't have any problems with uh, the uh, ribbon rotating in the, the wrong direction or the ribbon twisting for any reasons and all that. So yeah, uh, the solution of your problem is to set all the preferred angle to zero and set the joint orient to the rotation of, uh, well, so, so, basically what we talked about earlier. So yeah, I hope it had helped you. I hope I was quick enough for you uh, on that problem. And also, if you want to have uh, the, uh, the code um, that enables you to verify to verify the correspondence between the matrices. I will link. Well, I will write the code inside of the description of this video so that you can copy it and you can put it inside of your Maya so that uh, you can uh, like have a cube. So basically, uh, here if I go, uh, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna go here. Uh, if uh, it's all written in there, there's the description of the functionality of uh, the the program so yeah you can download you can like copy it from the description and put it inside of your maya and uh, just yeah put, put it and uh, just experiment with it so yeah i hope it had helped you and uh, i hope uh, it you will all figure your ways out of uh, of rigging and yeah so goodbye i <laughs> hope it helped you <laughs>